what the big picture is here, which we haven't actually talked about between us, is extraterrestrial involvement. You'll be very careful about that. Oh, I just put the question bluntly, you know, most people, you know, all mm. the alternative media and a lot of people now, I mean, mm. just look, go back to the 50s, right? Mm. If you ask the ordinary man in the street, Wolf from Snow in England, mm. whether he believes in aliens, he'd laugh his head off and go and get some pie and mash. If you ask him today, he may well say, yeah, there has got to be something. Because he's educated, he knows that that vast the universe. And he's being conditioned by Hollywood movies yeah, and television yeah. series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Which is all part of what yeah. the, the... I mean, we are being prepared yeah, to come to are. terms yeah, with this. Are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. not for the reasons you think. For what reasons? They're going to have nothing to do with us. They're the, there. If you, all right, okay. The ETs so are going to have... Be, this this, this right. is called a spade a spade. Yeah. yeah, they exist. There is no conjecture. They, they do. Yeah, there is stuff. But you know what, that's no big surprise to 50% of people, shall we say. Right. right. But that number's gone up, hasn't it? You know, the, the yeah. more and more people realise, you know. More mm. and more, you know, NASA have got more and more slap dash about. And, and cannot, because of the, the very thing they've created, the media monster behind mm. trying to get money for the space race. Yes. Uh, is still there from the 60s. Yes. Um, and people, there is a lot of people that are very interested in it. Mm. Uh, and so because of that, cameras are on the shuttle. And because yes. of the internet and various people that are clever with the internet, Mr. McKinnon and people like that, mm. who I know very well. Did you know Gary McKinnon? I used to, I'll tell you a story about him later on. Off record? Yeah. That's a shame. Okay. All right. Um, We're talking about cameras on the shuttle and people yeah, are clever with computers. To, what I'm trying to say is um, you can't, there's so many now. Yes. You can't keep your lid on everything. You're saying it's impossible to yeah, hide yeah. the reality. And there's a certain piece of mm. um, video that is quite prevalent on the internet of a circular thing behind, rolling behind a tether. Yes, I know that one. That's factual. Yes. A couple of miles across, mm -hmm. but it's not a ship, mm -hmm. and things aren't what you think they are out there. You should regard space more as an ocean. Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm. We've got no right to turn around and say intelligent or unintelligent, mm -hmm. you know, because then what you're doing, you're com mm -hmm. comparing things to your intellect, aren't you? Okay. And how can you compare that to a human? Are you stating this as a fact? Absolutely. A fact. And what you're talking about here is you're talking about large, large living beings, like big kind of... And small. And small living and beings. Look at it this way. If you've got a shark swimming through the ocean, he's mm. got fish swimming all around him most of the time, mm -hmm. picking up morsels, mm -hmm. um, servicing him, mm -hmm. and he doesn't eat them. Mm -hmm. They go right in his mouth. Yes, yes, yes. And come out, you know, that's a natural thing, yeah? Yeah. Is it so far-fetched for you to understand that that could be the situation out there? Okay. But at the same time, there are some, what we could regard as metallic craft, things that you could call spacecraft. Right. As well. Yeah. Right. But, tell you what, I've got an axe to grind here, so let me grind my axe. Right? You do that. Okay, so here you are, you're an alien, yeah, you're on mm -hmm. the other side of the universe, right, mm -hmm. for instance, mm -hmm. yeah, you're in Orion, you're in Orion, yeah, yeah. You're that far away, mm. yeah? You're in your ship and you're flying all the way here. And you cross into galactic space in a fantastic piece of machinery, mm. yeah? And you get in and then you crash in Nevada. Right. Rubbish! Okay. Rubbish! Mm. So you're shot down. Okay. That's what, you, that's what happened to you. Yeah. Because you didn't think that there was any kind of particle weapon that, or kinetic weapon that could do that. Yes. Well, you wasn't prepared because it was the first time you came. Yes. That was... It was got something to do with radar, wasn't it? They discovered that radar would actually do this. Yeah. Uh, am I right? Uh, well, it was what, quite what? an aggressive... It wasn't an accident. Okay. I've got you. So you're saying that the, that the so-called crashes weren't crashes, they're actually offensive actions, which and were I discovered... I ask you to understand that because you don't cross into galactic space and then crash in Nevada, do you? I, I understand that. You see, that's, yeah. that's, 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 my, that's my axe there, so sorry, go on. I've got you, that's fine. So you're saying that initially there was a way of bringing the craft down that was discovered by accident, more and, or then, less, and yeah. then it was, uh, more or less, and then it was fairly quickly... A deliberate attempt. ...utilised. Um, yeah. Amazing that it worked. Yes, right. And then when it did, oh... So it's a lucky hit, yeah. and then they started to get focused about it. Yeah, well, they realised that it could be done, and then went down the avenue of trying okay. to figure out how they'd done it, and what okay. actually did cause it, and they needed to, to look at the thing they brought down to do that. Yes. And then... And then they educated them, so yeah. they became much better at it. Yes. Because then you've got the... the... Um, the... Americans, mainly, I guess. W was it only the Americans, or did no, this happen in every country? No, you just dropped the borders. And 
the okay. nationalities. Okay. Not... So then you got people who are pretty smart, mm -hmm. who got their hands on this ET technology, and that was never part of the setup. That was never part of the plan. Was no. It? It was never part of the plan. No. Okay. And what kind of problems has that caused? Well, you know what we're like. It's mm -hmm. not caused. They want to go. We're going to be the visitors. Mm -hmm. So that's what the selection's about. Okay. It's about creating a sort of space crew or or a a a. a, a Can we make a new a second end, so. I understand that. Um, a new breed of humanity who will be well equipped to go off into the cosmos like the Crusaders. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, like the Crusaders. Like the Crusaders. And it's like you give, it's like, so it's like you've got the spirit of the Crusaders and you give them extraterrestrial technology to move with. There you go. And then... And are, are any of us in any doubt that we're going to start planet hopping within the next century? Mm -hmm. Are you actually in any doubt with the technologies available now? Because we're uh, doing it with robots. Personally, I'm in no doubt at all that we've got a Mars base. Oh, right, okay. Um, is this something you've ever heard about? Yes. Okay. Uh, can you say anything about that? No. All right. Okay. Do you want that off record? No. Okay. All right. That's fine. <laughs>